Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning May 27th, 2019. And this will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Of course, you can watch it if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. <coughs> watch all your signs and as always, keep an open mind because these are general readings and what that means is they're not going to make sense to everybody watching or at least not in the same way so let's see what we have right we've got queen of swords ten of swords page of pentacles five of pentacles three of wands so really turning your back on a draining situation someone trying to creep back in but you see it and you block it okay yep absolutely so at the bottom of the deck um you have the four of wands so with the four of wands here for some of you i feel like this is a new home moving out on your own getting your new home for some you're getting someone out of your home that wasn't supposed to be there okay um this is definitely coming into your stability prosperity abundance this is happy harmony um harmonious relationships okay uh, you may be traveling to see family or family coming to see you um, with this energy as well. This is also success, new job or promotion at work. It could be marriage for some of you uh, or attending a celebration, attending a, a wedding with this energy. But the four of, of wands is definitely a card that talks about success on your own. Yeah. So let's see. Right. So here's what we have air sign energy queen of swords ten of swords so there was an ending with this person um there was some form of betrayal or feeling stabbed in the back now does it does not necessarily mean cheating betrayal when someone betrays your confidence it's like they didn't keep their promises or or they lied to you flat out okay or um this is also manipulation this is also dealing with someone's negativity you know where you have that person where no matter what you do they're never happy um that sort of energy okay and it just it just weighed you down and it just drained you all right uh it ate you up and it may also have affected your finances Maybe you cared for this person and took care of this person as well as, you know, emotionally, but also financially. Maybe you took them in. Maybe they were living with you. Um, and it's almost like their burdens became your burdens. Their troubles, issues, problems became yours because you tried to help, because you offered honest help, honest support. All right. Now, you have turned your back on the situation. You've had enough okay with the ten of swords that's it it's done it's dusted i feel like you have done everything you possibly could think of with the world card here you've tried coming at it from all possible angles it did not work all right you could not help this person you could not make them better because why because they had to change themselves and they were running away from doing that okay they were avoiding their own problems. They were always blaming someone else. They were always uh, looking to someone else to help because they couldn't, you know, they couldn't help themselves. They didn't want to. This is someone playing victim, right? They know it's not right with the Seven of Swords. They know what they're doing. But they're going to get away with it for as long as they get away with it, all right? You have turned your back. You have walked away with the chariot and you have um put down some boundaries you may have given this person financial support like um something like okay i'm done doing this this is the last time i'm helping you or i'm giving you this money you will do with it whatever you feel like it but it's meant for you to keep yourself okay while you get yourself on your on your own two feet as it were so it's like you were trying to do the right thing and give yourself peace of, peace of mind at the same time okay but you did put your foot down and you said it enough no more you will not contact me you will not ask for my help you will not come to me you will nothing no all right so you made it very very clear and you just left of course they're playing victim 
you know, uh, saying that you abandoned them or something like that, being very dramatic. But you see through it. You see through it and you're determined to keep going. All right, you have three sevens here. Yeah, so that means seeing the truth, acting on the truth. Okay? And you get yourself out of a bad situation. You come out on top. You've learned a lot. It has made you stronger. It has given you new understandings, knowledge, and experience. But you're done with it. All right? This may also have been some sort of karmic cycle. A big lesson for you that you, you graduate from, basically. So you don't have to deal with it ever again. So that's pretty big. Right? Uh, let's see. This is also the energy of success. Maybe you left a job or you were forced to leave a job because of some shady people, shady situations. But I feel like around, maybe in the beginning of the week for some, around midweek for others, there is an offer and your financial concerns, okay, your financial fears can be put to rest. You may have to travel for this or they're giving you a company car or they're putting you in charge of something, you are heading something, maybe looking after several people or a couple of different teams or a couple of different projects with this energy. But you're more than capable of doing this. Everyone else has faith in you. You have faith in yourself. This is true success moving forward. Okay, big step for your career. Absolutely. If this is going on for your own business, I feel like there was a situation that really distracted you, whether it was a legal situation or again, something emotionally affecting you, um, dealing with a negative person where you had to put things on hold in terms of your own business and your goals. I feel like you're putting an end to that this week with the seven of wands, getting yourself back on track, getting yourself focused and motivated. And this sees um, the week turning out to be really, really great for your business as well. This is making new contacts as well reaching new heights coming up on different markets trying different uh, strategies that pay off for you i also feel like you're putting almost like you're putting all your eggs in one basket um but not in a bad way you have come to the realization of what you want and this could be with business, with love, with work, with anything. You've come to the realization of what you want through a lot of suffering, heartache, and betrayal. Okay. It's taught you what you want, even if it came through what you don't want. And this is what that is with the page pentacles. You know exactly what it is. You're waiting for it. Okay. With the seven of wands, you're being very, very uh, decisive and sorting through your options. You know you have options. You know you have different avenues you can try. This is also receiving multiple invitations, opportunities, people throwing ideas at you. And you're being very decisive of which ones you go for and which ones you reject. Because again, you're very clear on what you want. You are no longer willing to compromise. Okay? Good news is that sheer focus and determination gets you what you want. So do not back down. Do not compromise. Don't let fear of failure or fear of going at it alone hold you back from anything. Use that clear vision, okay? Use that clear vision. Do not compromise. Do not back down. Do not take no for an answer. Be careful who you give to because, again, someone might be coming back from the past or a similar situation where it just depleted you, okay, because you gave so much and it never got better. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse, all right? So just be careful with that. Put your foot down with that and stay focused on what you want. This is not the time to negotiate. This is not the time to compromise. This is not the time to accept less because you can actually get exactly what you want, exactly what you want and more. Okay, you just have to turn your back on the old way of doing things. Turn your back on what you know doesn't work for you or who you know doesn't work for you. Do not look back. Do not go back. You see? Just moving forward. Just looking forward. Right? 
So once you turn your back, let it stay turned, yeah? Keep focusing on what's in front of you because that's where your success is, truly. Okay, so very, very interesting reading here. Do let me know how the messages apply to you, Sagittarius, if they do, what this is about for you. But definitely make the most of this energy, absolutely, all right? And um, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.